So what is up you guys? Welcome back to a new episode of Fresh and Fleet. So I got my entire sunglass collection in the mix for you guys. Most of these pieces, most of the sunglasses have been thrifted, so keep that in mind. Nope. So I do got a little mixture for you guys. Versace, Burberry, just to name a few. And before I forget, Hit that like button, it really does help me a lot, as well as that piece at the subscribe button if you're not already. Also hit that notification bell if you guys wanna see when I upload immediately. Let's hit the first pick. Definite neck breakers, if you see what that says right there. The fact with chrome hearts, check out the crosses on the arms right there. They are made of real silver, an amazing attention to detail. Got them for 50 shipped. Do got a shout out at the Polish company. Go check out their Instagram. They got steals, they got deals on a daily basis and this whole thing that's going on, they do got a shop in Monrovia, California. If you guys are from the area, go check them out. Definitely a steal considering these almost retailed for a thousand dollars. Hell yeah! We're gonna hit up one of my favorite Versace sunglasses that I do have in the collection, the Mod 424s. You may know these as the Biggie Small sunglasses that go along with the iconic photo. Just an amazing piece, Gianni Versace, made in Italy. It's coming from the 90s in full style. It was real though. I did pick these up at a local thrift shop in one of the early episodes. If you can go find it, go check it out. I'll probably put it up there. But yes, that is an awesome piece. So also picked up these at the local thrift shop. Same place, Mod 531s. Now we got the Mod 424s in the black colorway right here. Just super clean, nice presentation. Just an awesome, pristine condition on these ones. You gotta always check too. Styling. So there we go, we got a Mod T74. If you guys know about these, these are also considered iconic biggie glasses. Out in the tortoise shell colorway. What set these off compared to the Mod 424s with the Medusa heads are these arms on here. Just look at that. Another sick piece. Get me a Kuji. Check it out, we got another one right here. So these are Versace Mod 481 slash b color 900 which is pretty much the tortoise shell colorway but you gotta love the medusa heads look at the design pattern right here and all metal within the arm just inlaid in there it is an awesome and iconic piece and i just love these versace sunglasses i can't get enough if i hit it up at the swap meet or hit up at the thrift i'm picking them up but it is hard to get these for decent prices anymore man they've gone up in price it's just insane love it now let's get into some chanel sunglasses these are awesome i've rocked these before back in the day uh hitting up round two and going to howling rays at the time if you guys want to see the video it's going to be up here look at the double c's i'm considering these tortoise shell but the color is crazy look at the double c's look at the dark itself like the actual lens and then it goes into the double c's again it's just you could see that there does have a metal arm that goes through here these were an online steel and this is a definite throwback to 90s chanel you gotta love the case man Gotta love that case. Now let's get into more Chanel sunglasses. This one I actually copped at the local Goodwill and I did pick these up for a steal. It was like $7. So the color on the arms are tortoise shell and right here is a full leather quilted pattern to match those uh, handbags. I almost forgot these right here. So these are the Chanel glasses in question I did pick up at the swap meet. Let's check them out right there. They almost look like goggles. If you guys can see right there, they got encrusted Swarovski. Uh, crystals in each side of the double C's. Definitely a nice touch. That's a piece of me. Let's get into some Burberry sunglasses right here. Check out the arms on these. You see a full Nova check pattern as well as those big aviator style lenses. Awesome piece considering these were copped at a thrift store for 15 bucks. Let's get into an early find right here that was discontinued and it was found at the swap meet in a pile of throwback sunglasses. And a lot of people, when I found this one, thought it was completely fake. I don't mean in person, I mean in the video. So back then when all the thrifting was popping off and the videos were really popular and I was getting over like 300 comments, uh, so many people thought everything I found was either fake, a replica, or just completely trash or garbage. But in this case, it actually has a riveted rider right into the sunglass, which they stopped doing. It does have a serial number on this side, as well as the matching serial number on this side. So it's an all around legit find. One of those pieces that I just never let go, and it's always a go-to. Quality for the low when you're paying $8. And yes, it came with a case. Yummy. Now let's get into some Oakley. Even for me, I have a bunch in the collection of just Oakley sunglasses. But this one takes the cake, considering I paid $24 for it. So we got some Dog the Bounty Hunter specials for you guys so these are the oakley thump and this is the 256 megabyte version of it check it out it does have earbuds as well as an mp3 player in here the whole thing is definitely awesome as well as this little feature right here the flip up uh <laughs> lenses it just brings the whole thing together it's just awesome and it does bring me back to those dog the bounty hunter memories this time you warn any mother i'm around you're gonna hit the wrath of the dog you got it so another piece i really wanted to get into were these 1980s vintage ferrari sunglasses straight out of mr stark's personal stash right here look at the ferrari logo 
on the arms itself that's the first thing as well as the little details here and there the lenses are crazy on this thing the front design is insane see the iconic styling right there on the inside i mean this is going back to and i love the fact i found the easy day at the thrift store and coming up in the pile of sunglasses that most of them were just worth nothing and coming up on this that was a definite breath of fresh air and as you can see they're definitely in the collection still now to that some giorgio armani sunglasses quick and brief because they are not too special so i did wear these at a swap me slash round two video same day i was featured on their youtube channel the show go check it out nope now let's get into some crazy sunglasses right there we got the revlon 90s inlaid golden dragon look at the both sides of this thing it's just insane and then we got these some vintage 70s playboy aviator sunglasses coming back from another time again both of them were copped at a goodwill two bucks each get into some craziness with these two pieces first the alp sunglasses if you guys know the brand they make some of the craziest sunglasses even now look some of these vintage ones look amazing these ones were picked up at the local spot for seven bucks and i was very happy to just look at the design now speaking about design let's get into this piece right here the porsche design sunglasses they're carreras if you guys know about carrera the brand then you know about these glasses and this was an awesome lazy day again going into a thrift shop picking up on these definitely a callback to a different time now a little quick glimpse of these some poor soul sunglasses nothing too big right there as well as the case five bucks and we got some other Persol sunglasses I did pick these up at the local thrift around 399 and it's crazy considering that these retail for around 350 dollars what's crazy is that these are my go-to sunglasses and i'm asked all the time about my sunglasses come up now last but not least among others check it out barton Pereira sunglasses let's check these out oh my gosh they are still crispy they're still new looking barely any scratches on those lenses so i did pick these up for around six dollars i believe and the MSRP on these are around $500. These are Barton Pereira Themis sunglasses made in Japan. If you guys haven't checked it out, go check out the comps if you want. But So these sunglasses as well as those Mod 424 Versace sunglasses are the biggest come ups I've ever found at the thrift. It's crazy because when I found it, it didn't come with a case. I waited for about months and I found it. One dollar. And with that, I just gotta say thank you guys for watching. It was another collection down. Just crazy amount of pieces. I still got more to go. So keep that in mind, as well as I'm trying to situate all this, get you guys a room tour. And this just goes to show you, if you guys know what to look for, even in a place that's already been picked out, go through some old sunglasses, you'll still come up. I'm blessed and cursed by my level of education. And with that, I'm just gonna say what do I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.